What is happening, people? I hope everyone's doing well tonight. Um, it is Wednesday night where I'm at for you. Most likely, it where I am for me. It most likely is for you. I uh, got a big. I was at the flea market last weekend. I just did a video um, on the um, my experience at the flea market. I'll share that. Matter of fact, it's rendering right now. And one of the things that I was able to buy was a very long internet cable, um, uh, Cat5, RJ45 type dealio. So I'm going to be connecting that up because right now I'm getting an error that says I am low um, Buffering. I'm plugged in actually in my board, but I plugged into a Wi-Fi router. It's like a some mesh network TMI. But anyways, um, tonight's video is about an update to my plasma table. I'm gonna make a video on that. I just wanted to kind of just say hello. I gotta keep. Um, a schedule to these live streams so the best way to do that is to keep doing them so anyways um, if you're watching this stream afterwards that's great I'm gonna talk to you a little bit tonight and show you um, my setup on the um, the plasma table that I have I have uh, the downdraft um, now that's working the downdraft is right there um, I have all of the air compressor situation and the filtration set up. I was able to get a um, new filtration system uh, and I was able to take the stuff back that I got from Harbor Freight and I got a Today I had a pretty good score. I had a guy that came up on Craigslist and for 40 bucks I got a air dryer. Um, now what I've been doing with that 60 gallon tank, I've been buying all my stuff either gray market or used. Gray market is basically a return and they sell it to someone and they sell it out there. So I was able to get a return on that so I got that for cheap so today I got an air dryer I paid 40 bucks I don't know how much it costs they're anywhere between 100 to 250 bucks for a little air dryer I'm not talking about one that uses electricity you could put your air compressor um, by the way water in your lines is just bad it's extremely bad for a plasma cutter but it's bad for almost every tool everything out there water and you want to filter out the oil and any debris so if you're painting and you're doing beautiful painting you don't want anything inside of your paint of course so you gotta you have to filter your air you have to remove the air uh, the water and you have to remove any debris or oil so I've set everything up over here and I'm going to do a video on that, but I kind of wanted to see if anyone had any questions. And just like my other live streams, there's not too many people here. So, um, I am very excited to get, I have the downdraft working. The downdraft happens that I explained in another video by pressing this button and that turns on the downdraft. And it turns on the lights and the water of the jet. So I can just turn that off with this little Harbor Freight thing that costs 19 bucks. This is my lights for the studio lights. This is the lights for the entire shop. And then the third one is for all of my plasma cutting stuff. And then I wish they sold another one that was for through six that could be the um, my dust collection and some other things that I would like uh, I tried hooking up uh, a sono system for music and that didn't go so well so anyways um, now the big news is is that I got this machine torch now let me zoom into the machine torch and explain to you what the machine torch is 
Now, normally, when you get a, a plasma cutter, you get this, uh, give me a second, give me a second. You get this uh, torch right here. And this is a handheld torch. Okay? This is a handheld torch. All right. So I'm working with my buddy Byron to potentially design a machine torch for this. So the way that this is designed is once you hook up your ground, you can actually hit the trigger and you can plasma cut metal up to a half inch of metal. I have some stainless steel over there I'm going to be doing. So the issue is, is that this, they expect you to use this and I get it. Um, it has different consumables at the end. These are things that you can throw away and um, get uh, some new ones. But the problem is, is that this runs into it all the time. And on top of that, you can't cut anything in the side. So if I wanted to cut some metal, some scrap metal that I picked up from the garbage dump, I wouldn't be able to do that because I, this was all connected to my system. So now that I've gotten this machine torch over there, it looks like a little lightsaber here if you look at it closely, right there, okay? Now that I have that hooked up, I'm able to do more, here, get the, this is the kicker, more precise cuts. I never imagined that this thing, I know it was, it was 280 bucks, but I never imagined it would be actually cut better than the one that came with the manufacturer. That's an aftermarket part. So the big risk is with these machine torches is I have a Razor Weld 45. That's not a hypotherm, the high end $4,000 plasma cutter that cuts metal. I bought an $800 one. I thought that was crazy expensive when I got into that. So if you're buying metal, custom metal parts, you're probably going to pay a lot of money for them. Metal is expensive right now, not to mention um, whatever experience it takes in the electricity to get this thing cut. So anyways, I upgraded to that and I have no regrets. So the two things that I accomplished as far as the update for my Crossfire is everything's working. Um, I did make um, a huge investment... Um, in these Allen wrenches and these Allen wrenches, especially this one right here. If you find out that one of your axes is not moving, make sure you tighten down the stepper motors that are in it with this tiny little one. I believe this is the one I use was three millimeter. There's these tiny three millimeter screws that are on the Y, the Y gantry. This is the Y here. And then X is there. Z is up and down. Z is the smallest one. So this three millimeter thing was really a lifesaver to have that because these are hardened steel. Um, you could probably 3D print these and create your own by going to Harbor Freight. My friend Byron did that. I thought that was pretty ingenious. Um, so anyways, uh, looks like my stream health is doing better. Um, probably the oh I have excellent stream house. I don't know what goes on. Maybe my kids are actually on the web. So what else do I have an update? I have I talk I wanted to talk about the machine torch, how important the machine torch is. I wanted to talk about um I don't know. Let's go ahead and just cut out a simple circle again. Um, and then we'll kind of uh, see if anyone else is on. But anyways, the machine torch was awesome. I'll link it below. I'm not sure how many they are. It's on eBay. I took a risk, but it works fantastic. I got my uh, air, air dryer. I'm using a uh, Capco, an Atlas Capco, C-A-P-C-O. And that's an ND17. And that just filters the air and it takes out the water. All right, so let's go ahead and cut out a circle.
firing up the Oh, there's uh, my little electric car. Zeroing those two axes. Going ahead and doing a dry run. It's a little too high, so I'm going to go to my zero. Taking off the dry run. Grabbing my goggles right here. I love these goggles. And let's fire it up, people! too high, a little too bold. Now when I get any uh, fumes in, I op open up the garage door and then I turn on number three and that gets it out there. All right, guys. So that's it. Um, thanks for joining me here on the Hack Lab tonight, Wednesday night. I hope that you're having a great night. This was a little bit of a 15-minute update. Turned out to be a little bit longer because of the countdown. I may eliminate the countdown, but I really appreciate you're here. Um, I don't think anyone is, but thank you so much for stopping by. Whatever you do, make something that connects someone. I will be talking to you soon.